The Boston Common is considered almost a sacred place to Bostonians and has been since the city was essentially founded in 1630. And it has been used throughout Boston's history as a community gathering spot. There was sort of a pledge made by city fathers at the time that the Boston Common area would be kept free of any roadways, free of any development, and would be open space. Its very name, the Boston Common, means it's for the common wealth, for the common good. It is a place for all Bostonians to be able to gather. You're going to dig up the Boston Common to build some sort of a silly thing that we've never heard of before? People were horrified. There was a lot of opposition to it. Save the Common became the battle cry of outraged citizens. Letters poured in from across the country. Americans demanded not a single shovel disturb the sacred soil of the Boston Common. Protests were so passionate that an exasperated Matthews brought in two former park commissioners to defend the urgent need of a subway. The young mayor also fought off plans for an elevated train system downtown, like the one running in New York. Elevated railways block the sun, and so you've got entire avenues that are perpetually in a kind of twilight. The other thing is, elevated trains were filthy. They're run with steam locomotives, and they fed cinders, smoke, black soot, and that settles on the city. One of the little tricks, a, a PR trick, you might say, is that someone superimposed photographs of a New York steam-powered elevated train running down Tremont Street. And when people saw that, they said, well, that's no good either. When the elevated plan was voted down, Matthews saw his chance and intensified his advocacy for a subway. Armed with data from the Rapid Transit Commission report, he argued that a subway would cut transit time by two-thirds to one-half and that streetcars traveling underground would not be crippled by inclement weather. The Boston subway was not a foregone conclusion, not by a long shot. There was tremendous resistance, first by the merchants in downtown Boston. There was a petition at one point where 12,000 businessmen in Boston opposed the subway. There was going to be streets torn up, sewer systems affected, water lines affected, wires, electrical lines affected. Secondly, folks felt like traveling underground was very close to the netherworld, that you were getting closer to the devil, that you were taking this great risk in God's eyes by traveling on a subway. 